Whether it's the 4th of July or just a weekend summer barbecue, you'll want to pick the right wine for a hot night with good food. So how do you know what wine works with hot dogs or what goes with grilled steak? Well, you asked our next guest. The mo this morning we welcome Lori Forster. She's the wine coach. Hello, Hi how guys. you doing? It's so good to be back. It's Indeed. good to see you. We love summer. seeing you. We love having you here. Yes, my favorite season, and it's a great season for wine all around. So you say, how do you know what yes. wine to go with all of the different barbecue options? Mm -hmm. Let's start with salad and seafood. So where I live in Maryland, crab cakes, are you big on them here? Yes. That's our thing. Everybody has their own crab cake and their way of making it. But uh, my first wine here, I have the Gnarly Head Pinot Grigio, mm -hmm. and it's from the Lodi region in California. Now, we, we all know Pinot Grigio, right? It is yes. the most popular white wine throughout mm -hmm. my events around the country. This is what I see. So go ahead and, and grab a glass there. The Gnarly Head, what's great is it's only $9.99. It's great price. Uh, Give it a mm -hmm. swirl and a smell. And Gnarly Head is named after these old vines that are in Lodi that have these gnarly twisted trunks. But old vines make better wine, just like old people <laughs> do better stuff, right? <laughs> old people, must be doing some good stuff. Old, yeah. You've got here you got citrus and melon and some tropical fruit, so mm. real fruity. I like but it. still that ending with some crisp acidity that's going to make it great with anything you squeeze a lemon on. Again, seafood, yes. a salad. Yes, I love that Nine melon taste nine. of this. Price is great. And oh, the I brand, like you probably have seen their Chardonnay and some of their other red blends that are really good as well. Yeah, no, they're very popular. Oh, yeah, yes. I've bought their wines many times. Yes. Okay, what's so, next? Rose. Us in the wine business, we have been screaming about rose for 10 years now, and finally, people are getting it. There's a hashtag out there, rose all day. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm all about it. And uh, if you remember when I was here at Mother's Day, I introduced you to a California rose, mm -hmm. but today I thought it'd be fun to explore French rose. So we have three different styles and places, and you can see right away the color every shade of pink that you can think about. So our first one here is Laurent Godier, and mm -hmm. it's $12. It's from the Beaujolais region, part of Burgundy, and you're actually gonna taste sure. that, Colleen. I'm happy to. And mm -hmm. it's got really great red fruit, and but still that crisp, snappy acidity that's so great. It's made from the Gamay grape mm. in Beaujolais, and it's really, really delicious. Oh. Hot dogs, you mentioned? Yes. Great with rosé. Okay. Great with rosé. I wouldn't know that. Yeah. I wouldn't know that. So Domaine um, Bougrier, okay. we were talking about the Bougrier. pronunciation, okay. makes a rosé d'Anjou, which is a, a place in the Loire Valley. So now we're moving to Loire. We did Burgundy, now Loire. And they make ones that still have that red fruit, but a little bit of sweetness okay. that Eugene, I know you <laughs> love. And so this is going to go with your spicier things, right? So if you have some spiced pork or Hey, you know barbecue down here, right? <laughs> we love our barbecue. This is a great barbecue yeah. rosé. Again, only $12. I like this and one. And he's loving it. I like that smile like on his face. But imagine it with the barbecue. I know, that yeah. good and then the queen or, you know, the origins of uh, French rosé, Provence. And here I have Chateau Malherbe. This is $19, so a little bit more. Uh, notice I gave myself the most expensive <laughs> one. Um, this is their Point du Diable, and it's made from Grenache and Cinso, like a blend, like red blends are made. But gotcha. these are rosé blends and just think of rosé like a weak red right you get yes. those red flavors yes. but still a lot of a city and not the heaviness mm -hmm. that you get again perfect for summer rosé right. I'm glad that you guys were screaming about rosé for so Me long too and this is real dry mm -hmm. and that's what I love about it so you know you have all different styles you oh, have in between mm. you one little little sweetness and then real dry if that's what you like mm, and then stuff. there's one for every situation right that's right this is great with fish any kind of uh, baked fish or grilled fish would be wonderful with these rosés as okay. well. That's always helpful. I like when you tell us what it goes with. That's right. Good you to remember? Know. Do you remember my wine sandwich? I absolutely do. You always try the wine first, mm -hmm. then you taste your food, and then you go back and try the wine again. And if the wine tastes even better after the food, that's a great pairing. And so you've done a wine, good job. Food, wine, mm -hmm. keep making the wine, wine sandwiches. Wine. I think of you every time I have a wine sandwich. Oh, I love which it. Is quite often. Yes. So I hear that Colleen yes. specializes she in specializes red. She specializes in red. So this is a red blend. Again, rose, hot trend in the wine world. Red blends are too. They've been for about a year now. This is a blend of Petit Syrah, Syrah, Zin, Cab, and Malbec. Oh. So think of it like a recipe that the winemaker is working on. And if you're going to grill up those meats, if you're going to do burgers, really bigger mm -hmm. things, you want your red. So if you put your nose in this, you get blackberry and blueberry, even a little chocolate hint that makes it a real nice fruity but dry finish 
mouth filling, oh, right? So good. Because as the foods get bigger and you want your wine to get bigger, mm -hmm. fourteen ninety nine. <clears throat> so still a great value. And you know what? Because this has such great fruit on it, it's called Noble Vines, the one black. You can chill it a little bit, Ooh, and okay. uh, that really makes it even uh, better and more refreshing right. in the summer. Not so. cold, cold, just a little chill. Yeah, just a, a tiny yeah. chill. That's this good stuff, right? Oh, Lori Forster, he's going had, back to his own go <laughs> Pour yourself some more. I like the rosés too. Yeah, they don't call her the wine coach for nothing. Right? Go to thewinecoach.com. Thewinecoach.com. You can find more from Lori Forster there. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank much, you. Lori. Cheers to the summer. Cheers. Cheers. No cheers. Go. Nice.